Hello, this is Will and Will Arm. We're looking at some knives made by American Buffalo Knife and Tool. And uh, I've kind of uh, been carrying this one ever since uh, Blade Show uh, last year, and I really like it. It's uh, been good to carry. It's a uh, ball bearing. It's made has a D2 steel. Um, the handles are feel pretty good, and uh, they made that G10. It's ball bearing, easy to flip open. It's got both the uh, stud and the uh, flipper. Uh, flips open, holds the blade really nice, and it is a nice looking stone wash blade. Uh, so it's a liner lock, so you open it with the liner lock right there. Uh, anyway, it's a nice looking knife. Anyway, the blade is uh, three and a half inches long and closed. It's four inches long. Uh, so this one is called the Shadow Protector. And this one is called the Desert Nighthawk. It's got a beautiful blade. Um, that one is also um, stonewashed D2. Same G10 grips, uh, liner lock, same, same dimensions. Um, this one you can take the deep pocket clip and flip it uh, for a left-handed carry or right-handed carry. Uh, so anyway, this is called the Desert Nighthawk. And then the third one is called the Warthog, and you'll see why. Nice blade, really thick, good gimping right here. Uh, it does have a hole, like if you want to open it like a Spyderco, a liner lock as well. Kind of, the blade's much heavier on this than the other two. Kind of got to give a little wrist action and get it all the way out there quick. But uh, this one actually has something I haven't seen in an inexpensive knife, and that is left to right hand carry, but it actually comes with a extra blade, so it's an extra clip, so it can be carried. Notice how they're, the profile is left handed or right handed, kind of dog left, left, or dog left, right. But um, I like these knives. Anyway, they're in the 30 to $35 range. Um, the fourth one is called the, the Grunt, but I'm going to call it the Runt. Um, so the rest of all three of these are, are three and a half inches blade and four inches closed, where this is a 2.75. Uh, it does have a beautiful little blade. It calls the blade stainless steel. Uh, all four of them are um, ball bearing, uh, so they, they really open up nice. Um, now this company is out of Sweetwater, Texas, and uh, I don't think they're made in Texas though. I think these are Chinese knives, uh, especially for the price. But uh, anyway, uh, I want to give these away, so uh, please put your comment down below. And I'll send these out, uh, give me a, a week or two, as soon as we get about uh, however many comments we can get in a week or two, and uh, we'll do a drawing. Uh, it just seems natural, since this one's called the Desert Nighthawk. Uh, I think uh, uh, Nighthawk Matic needs this one, so um, that, just consider that the first one drawn, and then uh, we'll figure out the other, uh, other two. I think I'm going to keep this one, I just I really like that one. Uh, but anyway, they do open great. They got a good fidget factor and a nice blade shape, uh, unique and a lot of value for the money. These knives were not given to me. I'm not sponsored. Uh, just found them at Blade Show a couple years ago. Started talking with the guys there out of Texas and uh, liked them. And uh, so I decided to um, get a couple more after I bought that one and uh, uh, give them away on the channel. So uh, send your comments down below. Uh, we'll do a drawing from the comments for these two. And uh, Nighthawk, uh, just uh, get in touch with me about that one if you do see this video. And I'll get this one over to you. Uh, this is Wilden Well-Armed, and have a great day, and be prepared.